Hello YouTube, this is Jessica from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to take over where we left off in the last tutorial. As you recall in the last tutorial we went over uh, the application of Tesseract uh, um, just with the Leptonica library on, uh, on an image for plate recognition. In this tutorial we're going to be doing uh, um, basically the same thing but instead of just using the Leptonica library we're going to be using OpenCV and using some of the OpenCV library uh, algorithms to do some of the pre-processing for us okay so let's get started the first thing we need to do I, I want to show you this is this, this code that I found in, at github you can go to to this github account and you can uh, uh, look at it um, it's, it's a python code and it's based on this paper right here that it, if you have the time you can you can read it it's a, it's a very nice paper this one right here and talks about uh, how to use edge boxes in order to to separate um, the the background from the foreground and accentuating the foreground uh, because in, 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 in our application that we're using right now uh, we're more inter interested is on those the numbers on that license plate okay so this one we'll see how it does and uh, um, in the next tutorial I'll be showing you another one okay so um, I just want you to have many options for your license plate uh, recognition applications and you can use uh, each one you can play with the parameters and, and and adjust your code to whatever you want to achieve okay but let's run it so it is this and this is the uh, the the, um, the image is it play one PNG it is this one right here it is a very difficult image to work with because of the snow because of the edges uh, uh, but uh, there's a reason why I'm using it I mean it's not an easy one uh, there's a lot of those those uh, snowflakes will will uh, will create a little bit of a problem for the algorithm okay but I just want to show it to you so let's do in order to run this algorithm it's just python extract pi which is the name of the file right here and then the name of the image that we're going to be working with which will be plate 1 png and then the output file um, where we're going to um, create the new output image okay it has to be a, a an image it could be jpeg could be png it's up to you okay so just let's run it and as you can see it's going through the foreground it's going through the background intensity values and it's giving you um it's, it's creating these files right here okay these files display edges png Okay, and as you can see, this is the edge file. Okay, it gives you the edges. As you can see, this is all this snow right here. Okay, and we can create now the um, show you the process file. Uh, whoops, display process png and it gives you these are the edge boxes that he was talking about in his paper there uh, these are the the edge boxes with the intensity values okay and display uh, rejected to see what was rejected I just wanted to show you okay there's all that snow there okay a lot of that snow on the bumper as you can see and a lot of the the things that and if you go into the paper you read into it you'll see why it was rejected okay um, and now what we can do is display the output let's see what the output is with the background should be a white background because that's that's the whole point to accentuate the foreground and create a white background in the in the in the background okay so let's display output file png and this is the, the file 
as you can see is accentuating the the important part which is the 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 license plate itself okay so as you remember in the last uh, algorithm when we applied it just using tesseract by itself it missed the two okay so now let's see if we can get the two now so let's apply tesseract but not on the on the on the original image we're going to use apply tesseract on the enhanced image the one that we just created which is output file png and we're going to send the output to a file called output if i could type output you don't need to put the suffix it will put the suffix uh, by itself and it's creating this file right here output text and now let's see what's inside let's see that if it picked up uh, the last digit cat output text and as you can see it, it picked all all six digits okay and and um, and as you remember it the other one missed it too I mean it is still not perfect it still miss a lot, some stuff in miss and I will be showing in the next tutorial I will be showing another algorithm that it, it also uses OpenCV it uses Tesseract and it's very robust okay but this is the end of this tutorial if you click uh, the like box uh, if you like this tutorial and subscribe to my channel I will ch see you next time in the next tutorial have a great day